Hey, Roger here, and I'm going to teach you how to build the ultimate TP bazooka. I'm going to show you how to do it right. I mean, obviously, it is a paint roller attached to a leaf blower, but there's ways to do this well so that your TP bazooka will get maximum height and distance. Now, this is the same design we used at Lakewood. We had about 12 of these, and we TP'd 8,000 people several years ago. This TP bazooka will rock. Now, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been making these for probably 20 years, and I have learned how to do this right. And I'm going to reveal these secrets to you. Now, let me tell you this also. It's built on the same principle as an airplane. Now, when an airplane flies, it's the wind that goes over the wing that lifts the airplane up. Same principle with the TP bazooka. It's the wind going over the roll. That's why you attach the roller to the bottom of the leaf blower, it lifts the toilet paper up. And we're gonna show you how to do that. Now, here's what you gotta get. Here are the ingredients. You gotta get a the best blower out there, I'm telling you, is the electric Toro Super Blower. Sometimes they call them now ultimate, Ulta blowers or ultimate blowers. Sometimes they're all black, sometimes they're black and red. But, and I've taken this one apart, but it, the body of it looks like this. I'm gonna put this back together here in a few minutes, but it looks like that, I've taken the label off. Uh, this is an older one, by the way. We've, this has been around a little while for us. Um, and then you get a, a paint roller. It's a four-inch paint roller that is made by Blue Hawk. Trust me, this is the back. I've got one right here. Now, this is what it looks like. Now, you just got to have the square design. If it's an angle design, which a lot of these small rollers are, most of them are angled, you can't get the toilet paper in there. No good. So, you get that. And then you got to get two hex bolts these are a quarter inch diameter three inches long three inch bolt that's the best now sometimes i have used three and a half but really three inches is the best three inch hex bolt quarter inch diameter and then you want to get lock washers two washers that lock on i don't have well you probably can't see that camera there but there it is um but it locks on so that when you tighten this down you put washer on either side so you got four washers two nuts two bolts you put a washer on each end here. I'm going to show you. It's like this. Okay, so here's what happens. You have your paint roller. Okay, now this is an older one, so it's already been drilled. So you drill it right there, quarter inch. You take your nozzle, you can take these things apart, and you mount this to the bottom, just like this. So, for instance, you take your bolt, you put a washer on the end of it. You stick it through the top so the bolt comes out the bottom, okay? Then you attach this just like that. You put your washer over it again, just like this. And then you put your lock, well, lock nut on. Now, what I use is a wrench like this, or you can use like a 7 16th inch. Uh, wrench like that. Both these work really well. It's hard for me to hold this up and do it. use it in my shop. I have this in a clamp, but you tighten that up. Now, here is the secret in making sure this thing is straight and not cockeyed. You don't want it cockeyed. You want it straight. Is you drill your holes first in this. Let me show you. Let me take this apart again. You drill your holes first in your paint roller. Now it's great if you have a drill press. If you don't. You just want to put in a clamp, hold it really still, because you want to drill these holes perfectly, just like this, straight in. A little bit inside that first notch right there, so that way you don't drill into your metal rod there. Hole right there, okay? Then, you just drill one hole into this, when you first do this. One hole. You put this on here like this. All right. And then you get a nail or something, and you mark through here where your second hole is going to be. You want to hold this real straight. Put a you know, nail in there, make a little scratch. Pull this off, and then make your second hole in this. That's the best way to get this thing straight. Okay? So then you put this thing together. Now, the other thing you do is you get a piece of, like, tubing, tire tubing. You get this for, like, six or seven bucks, something like that at Walmart. And this will, will have way more than what you need. But anyway, you take this and you cut the end off. So you take your, take your pair of scissors and just cut off maybe a couple of inches, something like that, just in here like this. You say, why do you do this? Well, this is going to save you some grief. This is one of the little secrets 
the way we do this. Now, you take this and you put it on the end of your roller. Now, I'm not kidding you, it's tough to get this on. I'm not even sure I can do this right here. Real, let's see if I can do this real quick for you for the video. We just stretch that over. There we go. You put it over the end of your paint roller like this. They say, why do you do that? Because that is going to help you to keep the toilet paper on the roll. That's going to grip it a little bit. So when you're shooting this, if you happen to tilt your, you know, you tilt your TP bazooka to this side, toilet paper falls off. Makes you look kind of stupid. So and you can't always hold it just like that. So this way, your toilet paper will stay on there a little bit better. Okay, so you clamp this on here. This is what it should look like. You clamp this on the bottom, put the bolts through the top like that. Bolts come out the bottom. You got your paint roller here. You got your piece of, um, and you can scoop that on there farther if you want to, but you got your piece of rubber on here, your rubber inner tubing, a bicycle tubing to hold the paint roll on. So it goes like this. So you put that on there just like this, and that kind of gives it just a little bit of friction, so it just makes it a little bit harder for that to slide off. Now, you also want to use here, I'll go ahead and show you how this assembles too. Put these together, these turtle blowers, real simple. You just put that in there like that. And there's a piece here, goes into there like that. And then just jam that in there like that and you got it. There's your control, you got a high and a low. We just use high, we don't use low ever. Plug that into about 25 feet of extension cord and you can do some serious damage with this. Here you go. Now these are illegal in about 11 states and Canada. I just kid about that. I always think that joke's funny, but I'm probably the only one. But anyway, um, you hold about 45 degrees, but I'm telling you right now, you have this plugged in, this blower right here, you turn that on to full, and it'll take about 10 seconds, and this paper will be gone. I mean, it will take off. Then you just throw your tube down, turn it off, put on another tube, do as many tubes as you want. Now, I'm gonna be teaching how to do some games with these. So if you subscribe, You'll see those videos as they come up later on. You go to the bottom, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. That way we can put up a new video about some games you can do with these. You'll know what's up. You'll see the notification. Now, three things. One, you can build this, if you have the tools like the drill and the bit and all that, for under $100. About $65 for this Toro blower, super blower. 250 miles an hour. You can do that yourself. You can order one from us. We will do it. We don't much like it, to be honest. But if you send us a check, 300 bucks, we'll pay the postage, and we'll build this. We'll use our labor to do it. So if you don't want to do it yourself, that's an option. Just send a check to a Kids Blitz, uh, 5028 Ashgrove Road, Nicholasville, Kentucky, 40356. The other thing you could do if you want to experience this is book an event. If you're at a church, you're a children's pastor, book an event, a Kids Blitz event or a Fan Blitz event, and we will come and show you this thing firsthand and how it works. So anyway, I hope this helps. There again, don't forget to subscribe. Some new videos are coming up about games, and uh, God bless you. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. Three questions people ask me. They say, well, let's say now, can you use one of them gas blowers? Won't that work real well? Well, most gas blowers, believe it or not, don't put out 250 miles an hour of wind. Some do, but most don't. And if you're inside, you don't be using a gas blower. It's going to put exhaust everywhere. So gas blowers are not, I'm not a big fan. Plus the, the nozzles are round. I like the flat nozzle that comes in this, a lot easier to mount. So I'm not a big fan of the gas ones. Well, how about you use one of them battery operated ones and you don't have to have a cord? Well, okay, the problem with the battery operated ones right now is they max out about 145 miles an hour. Not fast enough for me. Now, if you're using a close proximity, it might be okay. But now eventually, they will get up to probably 200 miles an hour. Then I'll take a look at them. But now, not, not right now, I'm just not that impressed. And they said, well, what if you use one of them big old uh, toilet paper rolls and put it on there? Doesn't work because the big toilet paper roll, first of all, doesn't fit on the paint roller. And secondly, it goes too slow anyway. Just not going to have the same effect. So anyway, you want a Toro Super Blower to do this. And oh yeah, and make sure you use Scott brand toilet paper, a thousand sheets per roll. That's how you know it's the toilet paper that's approved by Kids Bliss for toilet paper blasting. Scott's thousand sheets, single ply toilet paper. And uh, thanks a lot for listening. God bless you.
I've seen my baby. 